Hey, hey, hey. It's Carol from Gay and the Lesbian. You should know me now that I'm Carol, the lesbian part of it, from our other videos. Alrighty, today I'm just going to give a quick rundown on how we power or keep power maintained to our batteries when we're a little bit off grid because we very rarely camp where we pay for power. Uh, we've been pestered a bit by someone we won't name. Two birds in a van. Anywho, shout out to you guys. Quick rundown. So we've got our camper trailer, which we'll show you the battery in it first, which is in our front box section. So we've just got a normal AGM battery. And if you have a look at the front here, it runs on an Anderson plug, which is currently plugged into our power tech. 120 watt solar panels. We can charge through the Anderson plug onto the car when we're driving. So that's how we get power into it and keep it at a good level. And these almost trickle feed it and keep them going. We don't draw a lot of power out of this battery. We don't tend to use it enough. Come around, I'll show you what we use it for. All right, so we've got a 12 volt socket here on the side of the camper trailer. And at the moment we're running two USBs off it or two C drives, we're doing a Mac computer. This is a bit slow, even though the dual thing does have the two amp, one amp, on the um, USB plug, it's still quite slow on a Mac. That said, it does charge it, it just takes time. Everything else, phones and that, stock standard time. We still tend to try and charge when we're driving, just out of habit almost. We've also got another 12 volt. This sound never gets old at two o'clock in the morning when you need a pee. Anyway, I don't know how my shirt ended up there. You can't really see it, but in the back of the camper trailer, we've got another 12 volt plug. Uh, we use that one mainly of a night. We chuck our phones on. Make sure we shut it, keep the snakes out. All right, so that's our camper trailer set up. So that's how we keep it tickety-boo. Let's go and have a look at what we do on the car. All righty, this is our fridge. So this brings all our food, drinks, dog food. So we freeze the dog food. So we've got a freezer and a fridge. So obviously you can imagine this draws a bit of power. At the moment, it's running really well. We've been really lucky with it. It hasn't always been the case. We have drained the battery before without using solar panels and just not thinking. So, and not driving the car. So we've now got a good system set up on this. I'll show you at the front. We've got a dual battery. So the battery at the back's our second battery. So you can see I've got it clamped at the moment onto the thingy bit so i don't know what they're called the positive and the negative i know that bit we've also got a red arc i think it's a bcbc little unit in there as well so one battery charges the driving battery charges the second battery when we're driving that's fine that runs the fridge Gay's going to put it back on me the only thing we use that second battery for is running the fridge so we've just got to maintain that but the fridge is it, it uses a lot of power so as you can see off these cords they run down to just a, a regulator that currently is working that runs onto the solar panels. These are hardcore. They're a croc skin armor cell. So they're meant to be really hardy, thank God, because our dogs, you can see all the bloody paw prints on them. They're a mat, not a blanket. They come in around 10 kilos, so they're a little bit weighty, but they're quite easy to set up. They're 200 watt. So the one thing we have noticed, apart from the fact that they do attract heat because the dogs tend to lay on them and reduce the solar going in. We haven't had a trouble. We don't seem to be losing much power through our battery. That said, we I think every day we've driven, but today will be the biggest test because we've not driven much and the, the fridge is working really well still. So we'll see what tomorrow morning brings, but fingers crossed, it's all good. So hopefully that's answered some questions for some of the nosy parkers out there. Again, no names. Two birds in a van. And anyone else who's interested. So awesome, guys. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to our next video. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification button. Get on board. Cheers. <laughs>